thank you very much. Can you tell us a bit about that amazing collection? Uh, that collection uh, was inspired by my uh, childhood fascination with Star Trek. And I just uh, created a collection that uh, I guess emulated the uh, vixens of the Star Trek uh, era. Yeah. Talk to us about trousers, very much a signature garment of yours. Men's trousers, they're phenomenal. You have so many different shapes going on in detail. Yeah, I, I, I love my trousers. If I were to choose uh, one garment that I do, um, the trousers and the jackets kind of rival each other, but I think I really embrace the trouser. Um, I, I, um, I trained with Roland Moray, I did his trousers, and uh, just from then on, I just, I've, I've always been enamored with the whole uh, nature of the trouser and how I change details. Uh, whether it's a cuff, whether it's a pocket, uh, asymmetry, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, a lot of the flies were off kilter and on the wrong side and inner construction. I do enjoy that. Hand knitwear this season, really, really lovely. Fat chunky, chunky knits. Chunky, chunky knits. Where did, chunky you knits. Where did you get them knitted? Uh, I got these old ladies. Uh, bless their souls. There's like an army of old ladies that knit for me. Uh, very chunky knits, yeah. yeah where where have you found, where have you sourced this army of old ladies from? You've been hanging around laundrettes, bingo halls? Well, in the communist uh, <laughs> state where they, they work for cheap. No, no. Uh, no, um, lovely women from uh, Macedonia. Yeah. And the liquid metal, it looks like, tell me how you achieved that. Some of the That is it just, is, I was so much in love with that fabric. Um, it's like, a, it's 100% viscose, beautiful drape. Um, natural um, breathing too you, you don't sweat in it or anything and it's just liquid metal basically like terminator you know it's it's just yeah it's star trek what are you what are you looking forward to doing now that the show is over oh, sleeping hanging out with raven really i actually want to stay in bed and just have chats with her in the morning that's um john pierre braganza's baby girl yeah how old right. is raven now she's uh two and a half months Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Backstage at the Basso and Brook show on Wednesday, we're looking at some of these outfits. This one has the most incredible writing on the inside, on the lining of this voluminous jacket. Be very careful here. White sails aloft while they're fine servants brave son would escape or be overpowered and made a vision in the likeness sister why have you come here right well i don't know where that's from but hopefully we'll have a chance to ask chris or bruno about it um that's um the odyssey text from the odyssey um so it's quite heavy so you don't don't, don't read into it too much <laughs> um but you know we we broadening our collection you know we we do so many pieces now that you know some people love wearing print some people don't most people don't but you know we, it's nice to be able to give people a piece of what we do but you know not be always on show so um yeah yeah they're like ascii characters bruno's got this it's like a you know a, a device on the computer that he can just translate any image into this <coughs> it's quite an early um, early 80s kind of technique I think I remember going to Blackpool and um, you have you have your face scanned and then you get have, have it printed out onto this thing and that was like the first kind of you know texture. yeah and then it was put onto a tea towel <laughs> I think I've got it somewhere it said wanted dead or alive um, is that hats by Mr Jones again? yeah talk us through what he's been up to this season what has he been doing for you this season? Well, he's, uh, they're amazing, yeah. and we only saw them yesterday, and it just, you know, there's a, there's a complete synergy between us. We, he always, we always get each other, and, um, you know, even the shape, even though the shapes might be simpler, we're not to make a statement with the hats, so... Um, this time, we're in the tents. Are you, are you quite happy with this as a venue? Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's great for this, you know, I think each season we have ideas of what we want to do. We wanted to make it easy in a way, you know, I think we've always chosen very strong venues and, and quite late time slots, which, you know, because of delays have always gone overrun and I think we just wanted to keep everyone happy this season. Brilliant. Thank Hopefully. You very much. We're here with James Caliandros from L'Oreal, who's been in charge of putting together the makeup for the Bassam Brook Show today. James, talk us through what the look is and how you're achieving it. 
It's a really minimal look. We're doing like a super um, futuristic, very played down in terms of color palette look, just using skin color and highlight and contour. So we sculpt out like the gorgeous bones of someone like Lily who's so beautiful and you know who doesn't need a lot so like we just wanted to keep them looking like as gorgeous as you know well some of them when they come in like Lily um, who's so beautiful and fresh and gorgeous and she's paying me I get like ka-ching ka-ching every time I see her no and um, so we're just like contouring with the face and then like pulling out this this highlight to give them a little movement so some of the prints we're looking um, were inspired by a Turner paintings and um, who the hell is that no I'm just kidding and um, no so they're really beautiful and atmospheric and like they have this kind of like painterly movement to them so we wanted to do that with the face and the hair too it gets a little like swept motion and um, you know and this collection is a bit more sophisticated than um, zany which is like how their other collections were really crazy and um, five minutes we got it we're in a rush here, but this interview is so important. So um, we, so anyway, they're really cool. It's a more sophisticated couture-like collection, and um, the girls will just look really fresh and beautiful. Very quickly, because I know you run out of time. How do they liaise with you? Do they send you pictures while they're designing, or do you get together physically? Yeah, together? we get together physically, super physical get together, and we. Um, just a few days ago actually so it's really quick before the show but that's when all the pieces are arriving and they you know because it's really last minute with fashion like they have to work so fast and they have so little time to especially when you're in london it's like super fast on the richter scale of fashion how it comes and so then we talk about it and it's just like you figure it out right there with a model Thank you very much. just gonna spy on chris and bruno as they give the dresses dresses their instructions. Here are Chris and Bruno backstage. You button up completely. That's it. Oh, okay. Does it have anything underneath? You just button it. That's it. That one as well. It's just a dress. You just need to pay attention because it's a little bit tight in the neck. Okay. You will need a little bit of time each you. Yeah. You pull the. Yeah. This is no, no many stuff. Yeah. I think that this is, and the difference between this and the others, that this one, our main concern was beauty. We want to achieve a sense of beauty, truly beauty. What people find that is beautiful, what we think that is beautiful. And a modern, a, a contemporary woman, really, like a woman that you could see now in a beautiful party, or she can feel the room, she's too powerful as our woman is powerful. Uh, uh, but is a powerful in another sense of way. I think that she got light now. She, uh, uh, the hats were huge, but were light. The, fab, the dresses could be large, but light. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's just feel, feel a space with beauty. I think and that this turning, was... And the inspiration from Turner, I mean, how... how Turner subverted in the 19th century the idea of the classic painting. You know, everyone was strict with the academies, and he suddenly came and twisted and blurred some ideas of things. And I think that the Chris played with the tailoring as well. Everything starts strict and suddenly blurs. Um, it's the new, no? he, he, he kind of went against what people were doing in his time, uh, was extremely criticized, but suddenly he's Turner. I mean, perhaps you don't know his contemporaries, but you know him. Um, and I think that it's inspiring to have like some genius and, and be inspired by a genius of, of something. And Turner definitely is, is, is one of our favorite paintings. What's that really Barry Manilow I heard at the end? Oh, that, could it be magic? I think it could be magic. I don't know, I think that explains itself. Good.